Alrighty, are you in for a treat? Because you just want to build yourself the best. And uh, you know, money is not that big of a concern, but you're just asking what is the best? create a PC that you can build. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly that if your budget is roughly around $4,000 and perhaps if you can stretch it even more to unlimited budget, what would you get? And I'll show you exactly that as well as everything else you need to know and what I wouldn't do if I was you. But I would definitely check out this sponsored segment. Looking for a cheap way to license your windows? Check out WhoKeys through the links in the video description. Make sure to use the code TN20 to get a 30% off. Paste the license to the activation settings and you're all done. This license is for Windows 10, but you can upgrade it to Windows 11 for free. They also offer Microsoft Office 19 license. Use the same code TN20 to get a 30% off. Check out WhoKeys.com in the video description below. Now, if you're thinking, whoa, I don't have that kind of a budget, then there are actually more budgets available in the description below. This is a four part series and this is the last part where we're taking it absolutely to the next level. So if you've got budgets from 700 all the way to four grand, then there's videos in the description below and there's smart links that will always leave you to the latest version of this video available because I do this twice a year where I'm gonna make you the same budget but give you the best performance so check those out in the description below if your budget is quite not like this but now let's take a look at the parts that I would use for this build then. So if you want the best creator motherboard, then the Asus ProArt Z790 Creator Wi-Fi is a very, very good option. Plus it's kind of affordable because if you use Adobe Creative Cloud, you do get plus three months for free Adobe Creative Cloud membership, which makes this very, very appealing for a lot of the creators. But if you can't utilize the Thunderbolt 4 ports, which this motherboard has in the back to USB-C ports, and perhaps want just some non-Thunderbolt, you know, C compatible parts in the back, then I highly recommend checking out the Gigabyte Z790 Aorus Master. Now this doesn't have USB-C video output, which ASUS has, but it's got everything else in fact sometimes even more so it's got a lot of USB-C ports in the back of the motherboard three and you can get a front panel one as well which is very fast as well so I'd go with one of these motherboards for this price point for CPU we're we'll using the 3900k which is infamous for being a very good creator CPU with the iGPU for video editing and the e cause p cause it really actually makes a lot of sense for creators and don't forget to use the contact frame as well as a good thermal paste for this CPU to get Get the ultimate performance and this thermal grizzly cryonaut is probably one of the best thermal pastes you can get to get every bit of heat extracted from that cpu so go check that one out very important note about the pricing of these parts because you see me you know showcase these parts on the shop and you can see some kind of price next to it most likely when you're watching this video they are even lower especially if you're watching this video during the holiday season there's deals on for every single part so i highly recommend checking out the latest pricing in the description below but now the cooling is slightly different from the previous video we're going to be using the liam lee galahad 2 trinity performance 360 millimeter aio when i tested this on the channel i was really impressed with the performance this was really really good it looks nice i like that the lee and lee like logo can be removed kind of and have just a beautiful design on the cpu block but the radiate is actually thicker as well than the normal 25 millimeter radiators the radiator is thicker as well as the fans are thicker so this is a very good performance there and it's a little bit more expensive than the arctic liquid freezer 360 millimeter at 164 the dollars but it really is good as well i was very impressed with that go check out that video if you don't know the os ssd is what we've mentioned on the previous videos the solidine p44 pro one terabyte one it's really really good ssd very very fast very good now we've got a bit more extra to spend on the project drives, which I'd recommend you these. Seagate Firecuda 5 32 terabyte drives. Now you can upgrade it to four terabytes as well if you want, but this has a very good solid performance in terms of the speed up to 7,300 megabytes per second gen four drive, as well as the terabyte written spec. So if you're a videographer or a 3D creator, perhaps even photographer who dumps a ton of large files on the SSD, and reads them, deletes them, and constantly kind of regurgitates that process, then this SSD can actually keep up with that process because up to 70% of the drive can be rewritten every single day for the next five years, and that's fine, which is very impressive. So you can write on the drive 
over 1.5 terabytes, which is insane every single day for the next five years. And we're gonna get two of these. So you've got one OS and then two project drives all together four terabytes if you're interested in that. And you've got one more free slot to play with if you wanna upgrade in the future. Now for RAM, we're gonna be using the G-Skill Trident Z5 RGB series, which has 56 megatransfers per second, you know, speed, 64 gigabytes, which is the nice sweet spot, but the latency is very good at CL28, which is still within the Intel's IMC spec for 13th gen, 5600 megatransfers per second. So your IMC and the memory can run, you know, gear one really you could get faster but we're going to start to experience a little bit of a stability issue and not potentially be able to run it because uh, you're gonna have to have a good silicon lottery to run anything you know above 6800 megatransfers per second or something like that for gpu we're gonna go no less than rtx 1490 and this zotag gaming 1490 amp extreme aero is one of the more affordable ones and gives you the best performance for your money now you can get some other brands as well if you want to but for best bang for buck, this really is the one. Wait till you see the upgrades though. The power supply is a 1200 watt 80 plus platinum full modular power supply that supports ATX 3.0. So 600 watt power cable for your GPU, 1200 watts, 80 plus platinum. It's got everything you really need. The case now we're going to be using for this PC is a little bit different because we're taking things to another level compared to the previous budget. We're going to be using the Fantix NV7 and this is a kind of a full tower like this is absolutely like blacked out and absolutely you know kitted out pc here as you can see on this side here different version of what you can get but it also has a lot of very interesting things for creators there's a lot of fan support which means we can put a lot of cool fans in there and the fans we're going to be using are the lee and lee p28 performance fans and these are uni fans so you can clip them together they're blackout so we're not going to get any rgb in there just a little strip what goes around the motherboard there that you can configure if you want to. But the rest of the fans are just black and we're gonna get two sets of these fans. So all together, six extra fans. So we're gonna get already three on our AIO, which is gonna go on the top. And then for the extra six, we can stick some in the back, some on the side and some on the bottom to get a really good airflow in this case. Now you can upgrade and get even more fans if you wanted to, but I think generally this is gonna be really, really nice design. If you wanna put this on your desk because you've spent four grand on the PC, it's gonna look nice. now. I'd also recommend figuring out what GPU design you'd like because maybe you want to spend extra $50, $100 on the GPU to really get a good design GPU also for the 4090 that goes inside the case. I've given you just the best bang for buck option, but now at this price point, you probably want to think about the design as well. But I think this is one of the best uh, cases that you can get that has a lot of options in terms of cooling and cable sorting as well and looks really, really nice. So I'll leave these parts in the description below but now we're gonna take this to the max another thing we often forget about our setup is the chair we're actually sitting on which brings us to the sponsor of this segment flexispot i've been using their chair for a while now and i liked it so much that i actually got another one for my editor the bs12 pro in black and it is really really good depending whether you're in uk or us it might be named slightly differently and there might be different colors available but check out the latest ones in the description below one thing i can say is it's super comfortable and i highly recommend the chair but during this holiday season uh, flexispot is running some amazing deals right than now you can get up to 50% off on orders you can win back 50% of your order value but you have to act fast because up to 80 orders will be refunded use the code FSKOL to get 10% off and much more check out the flexispot chairs in the description below as well as their other product range of standing desks and all sorts of things links in the description below thanks flexispot for sponsoring this part of the video so you're asking what is the ultimate ultimate thing that we can just build this is really where you're gonna say look i just want the best give me the best i don't really care about money because perhaps i can put it on business expenses and get vat back or get some taxes back and i can write it off on business expenses this is what i would do firstly for motherboard i would use the gigabyte z790 aorus master x that x is actually a new version so there's a few little tweaks that they've done to support the next generation as well but it's really like the best like the newer motherboard 
We're still gonna get 10 gigabit LAN port and fast USB-C connectivity and all sorts of things, as well as Wi-Fi 7 connectivity. So really the latest one, which also is gonna support the 14900K. Now at the point of me making this video, 14900K isn't out yet. When you might be watching this, it's out and probably at this point you're gonna be like, yeah, give me the 14900K because this is the best what I can get right now. I'll leave the link for this in the description below just so you can find it when it's out. We're going to be using the same cooler, Lee and Lee Galahad 2 Trinity Performance because in my experience, what I've tested here, this is like the best performer that we can get on the channel. But we'll also be upgrading the fans a little bit more. We're going to run the push and pull configuration, which you'll see in the end of uh, this video. Now for the OS drive, we're going to be actually using a Data Legend 970, which is a Gen 5 SSD. And if you haven't seen the video on the channel yet, this is the best SSD I have tested on the channel. Like Gen 5 takes it to another level in terms of random read and write speeds as well. And when you're a creator and you want the OS to run very snappy and programs and everything, this really is the one to be. Over 10 gigabytes per second read and write speeds as well, just so you know. And it comes with a price point as well. Now, this is the OS drive, and then now we need some project drives. For project drives, remember we've got five slots in there. We're gonna be using this FireQ to 530, but now four terabytes per drive. And we're gonna be using two of those. So we're gonna get eight terabytes in total for project drives, as well as one extra which is this Sabre Rocket 8 terabyte drive. Now this is gonna set you back around a grand and uh, you probably don't care about money at this point. This is really fast drive, very large capacity, so you can fit a lot of projects or big projects on the drive. Even if you are an absolute feature film guy, you can um, you can do that. There is one more slot free on the motherboard. If you want, just get another one of those and run, run them in RAID 1. So you get actually redundancy of this as well. Or get double the performance, run them in RAID 0. Yeah, your things are at risk, but perhaps you can back them up somewhere else. So there's a lot of things you can do with this uh, drive because it's very large and very fast. Okay, now things get exciting. For RAM, we're gonna be using 192 gigabytes of DDR5. This is a team group T-Create Expert RAM, and this is a 96 gigabyte set. So you've got two 48 gigabyte modules, and we're gonna get two of these sets. So all together, we've gotta to get four 48 gigabyte modules, which totals at 192 gigabyte. Now this is CL36, which is not as fast as the CL28, what we had previously, but with the 4900K, most likely we're gonna get better IMC, which means that we can run these RAM sticks even faster. I doubt we're gonna be able to run all four sticks at 6,800 mega transfers per second. This will give us the best chance of the best speed what we can get out of this RAM kit. So try it, but we can always lower the speed, no problem there. But this is like a pretty crazy RAM. As you can see, the price point is quite a bit as well, but maybe you do need 196 gigabytes. I don't know. And now the GPU. For this, we're gonna be using this, the Gigabyte Aorus RTX 4090 Extreme Water Force. This is a 1490 like previous one, but it's a liquid cool, which means that it's gonna run slightly faster clock speeds, which really uh, isn't that big of a difference, just so you know, only a few percent here and there. But it's gonna be very, very quiet and very, very cool. So if you do need some ultimate 3D performance, for example, using this is absolutely in insane for you. Now you could go with the MSI Supreme Liquid X as well, which has 240 millimeter AIO. And then you could actually fit two of these cards in this PC because you can put one like in the back of the PC case. Remember here, because the back has actually 240 millimeter support. And then one on the side, on the top here, if you wanted to. But if you just want one card that's liquid cool and push through, then this is really probably the best RTX 4090 that you can get without going completely custom looped. But for creators, I don't really recommend that just because it's very hard to service that PC. And for the PSU, we're gonna go balls to the wall. This is Be Quiet Dark Power Pro 13 16. 100 watt power supply. It's ATX 3.0 compatible as well as 80 plus titanium. Now this is the highest efficiency rating. So your PC is gonna waste the least amount of power 
and if it's constantly on you want something like that and if you ever upgrade in the future to i don't know two rtx 4090s which this can do as well or whatever it's got everything you need this is absolutely insane and look at the design of this how cool is this very minimal dark power pro anyway and it's all gonna fit in this nv7 case as you can see here so bear in mind if you do want to have the supreme liquid x you can have two rtx 1490s in there as well well bear in mind we have used the gen 5 slot on the motherboard which means that now our pca slot runs at x8 which means that really having a secondary gpu might not work in there for you but there's an option for you really to go balls the wall if you want it to the contact frame as well as the thermal paste very important for your cpu when you're getting you know 14th gen as well because it's exactly the same you know ihs design and now for the fan support who are we gonna get a lot of fans now if you like some rgb you can get the fantix d30 fans and the black ones and you can get them in reverse as well so you get really nice design what you can see in this picture here as you can see there's fantex d30 fans all the way around they're like thick fans and very good performance as well and rgb if you want to configure that if you like it all blacked out and even better performance i'd go with the lee and lee p28 fans now you might be saying why don't you use the fantex t30 fans but the reason for that is a very very small reason those fans are actually gray not black and they might not fit with this design of the case and that's why we're using these lee and lee ones and they have a really nice chrome on the side as well makes them look very premium and very good performance as well so we're gonna get five sets of these three so all together 15 fans and uh, they're all gonna be linked in the back there it's gonna be insane performer and if you're asking how much does this pc set me back then that's gonna cost you about seven thousand one hundred and sixty eight dollars and eighty five cents extra 3.3 grand in upgrades now i understand that this is not feasible and doesn't actually make sense for a lot of people but there are some options and actually some things do make sense in certain cases like even knowing the gpu upgrades because you might want to go with the liquid cooled gpus just to get it a little bit quieter or a little bit better cooled if you're doing a lot of 3d for example or you want two of them it might actually work as well or if you want the ssds there are some bits that you can pick up in all of these upgrade options there so i'm going to leave everything in the description below if you want to tinker around and look around a little bit now if you would have made some kind of a different choice then i would love to know from you what you would have done in the comment section below let me know and i'll meet you down there but now some very important things that i will need to mention before you're building this firstly if you're still confused which ones should you upgrade because photo editing video editing and 3d their workflows are really different and these different parts work differently in different workflows so just getting the best one might not give you the best performance in fact sometimes gives you worse performance so getting the right parts for your workflow i'll explain this in another video so go check that out if you don't know that one yet and if you need some help building or configuring anything on this pc then all of these videos are linked in the description below where you can just follow step by step how to build it how to do the drivers softwares and configurations and set everything up on the pc how to stress test your pc how to do the fan configuration and all of that it's all you can find it down down there as well as tools don't forget to also pick up perhaps this ifixit screwdriver kit because at this point you probably should get this one as well because it might come helpful in building this pc if you haven't subscribed yet but enjoy this type of content creator tech and pc hardware then hit that subscribe button oh i've got a lot of exciting videos coming i will see you in the next video thanks guys for watching and bye bye